Hey Pisces, how about a reading for you, my friend? It's been a while. We're coming up on your weekend, Mutable Signs weekend. What does that mean? Mutable Signs, you bring us from one season to the next. So Pisces, I believe you bring us into spring out of winter. All right, I'm gonna get some advice for you. Just follow along. Let's see what happens. First of all, an overall feeling. Ace of materials, a new beginning, very practical, like a new job, new home. Beautiful. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. And underlying energy is the devil. It can be a Capricorn in your life, but the devil is your addiction, your codependence, your doubt that you're an amazing person that deserves this Ace of Materials, this new real 3D beginning. It's the, it's the stories in your head that keep you small. So let's find out about that, okay? Interesting, interesting. So we're gonna pull, I think, five cards from this deck. The Wise Dog Tarot wanted to talk to you, Pisces. Well, first, we're going to ask what you need to release. And then we'll ask what you want to embrace, what you're kind of revisiting, what's hidden from you, and what's coming in for you. All right, let's see. I have social awkwardness feeling. Okay, interesting. So you need to release your feeling of poverty, of abandonment. You've got these tired dogs that are out in the sun, too hot. My dog gets this way when we're walking on a hot day away from water. So the Five of Pentacles, oh, there it's an animal shelter. You can see, I know it's backwards, the dove flying in there to represent hope. So the Five of Pentacles, it's not a pleasant state. So good one to release. It's a feeling of, of lack. Pentacles are your money, your security, and remember you have a, this is the same suit. Materials in this deck is pentacles. New beginning. Abundance. Coming in. So you can release the idea that you're out, homeless, without shelter. The dove represents the perspective that you can shift towards, which is one of hope. One of belonging, one of being invited into a place that is going to feed and shelter you. Perhaps like an animal shelter does. It makes me think about how dogs look in an animal shelter like, pick me, pick me. So that feeling can be left behind. What you can embrace instead. Ooh, that's interesting. A seven of cups. I, was, I looked at that weird. I, so at first I thought I saw two dogs looking at each other, but just one dog. <laughs> that was weird. Seven of Cups is fantasies, projections. It's often kind of a card where you, you want to kind of be like, whoa. Um, but this, I like this one. Looking at all the things that are in the cups. These are all your wishes, it looks like. Um, a squirrel to chase, another dog friend, a bone. Love, victory, a home, fire, or the sun. Those are mostly positive things. Um, so when you're in a seven of cups state, it's like you have choices. Um, this looks like embrace your dreams to me. And, and that's why the, what it speaks to this devil here of like, this is a devil feeling. I'm never going to have a home. I'm never going to belong. I'm just going to be hot outside in the desert. That's this devil talking. This says, I have lots of choices. It says, embrace your dreams. Embrace your choices. Sometimes, as I was maybe starting to say, a seven of cups is um, illusions and fantasies. Um, this Because this is in the embrace. Think big, all right? What you're revisiting, that you may have kind of looked at something recently and you need to look at it again. Um, so here you are in the seven of wands state. This is resistance. What are you? What were you resistant to? Were you right, 
it's really a card of integrity. Um, but it also, again, we get this tired dog with the tongue out. <laughs> it's funny that you keep getting this Pisces. So you're, you're tired from chasing this stick. Um, it's usually like you're holding your ground against a lot of outside influences here. So maybe you were resistant to something recently. You decided to resist and say no to something. So what is that? It doesn't mean you change your mind. It just means look at that again. And the reason I pull this card is when we have planets in retrograde, they're basically covering ground that we covered in recent months. So it would be a very recent um, event or a recent decision to be resistant. Um, what the tarot wants you to know, what's hidden from you. An eight of pentacles. This is work. This is a new skill. It's, yeah, it's your work. Very happy dog has a job. <laughs> so if you, it's in the place of something hidden from you. Um, it can be like a job, right? We, there's lots, this goes to this new beginning that you see here, this ace of materials, ace of pentacles. Um, so the eight of pentacles is most obviously like your job. But it can also be some other area where you're building skill, where you're putting in work. It's making you happy. Um, it's a very different feeling that we have between these three pooches. These are very tired. This one's also tired by having fun, fighting. <laughs> I always think it was like, this dog has been obsessively chasing this stick and ignoring everything else, right? Um, this one is freer looking to me. So it's a dog with a job. Supposedly there's some breeds that like that. I like having a purpose. Coming in for you in the future. Ooh, the Knight of Wands. This is somebody else? Very sexy person. <laughs> Very fun to play with. Um, the Knight of Wands can be a bit of a player, sexy, sexual, lusty energy coming in. It could be you feeling like that after doing your work. We will find out. It's clear because the devil's here. To me, the work that this dog needs to do is to address your devil. Uh, all right, let's see what's underneath here. Mm, yay, the Page of Pen Wands is here. Okay. Just a few cards. The Queen of Pentacles. This is, I always call her the security queen. Could be you or someone in your life. She's all about the money, all about the home, all about the abundance. I tend to think of her as needing a partner to take care of her. Is that you or somebody else? We can see there is a partnership here. There's two dogs. I like that she's looking at the butterflies. She's, you know, earthy, practical. She's kind of purebred looking to me. You, you know how you feel about that Queen of Pentacles, Pisces. Okay, I love this card. This is my queer card, the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is always an outsider who sees things in a different way. That's why I call it queer foreigner, somebody who is a page, is just a young energy because they're new and they don't know how it works and they're from the outside and they bring outside perspective, which is queer. Um, you see these salamanders here, um, these little salamanders. So this is wands are fire, which is your body, your desire, your pleasure. And so these salamanders are making us think about fire. And then finally, there's something has ended the world. So if you're, if you relate to the queen of pentacles or the page of wands, they're looking like a completed relationship. Um, they look very different. Um, 
but the world is an ending and it is a beginning. So something completed between this queen and this page. They're very different people, kinds of people. So let's find out more. All right, let's clarify. I just really, what I'm seeing when I look at this on the table that I keep, I keep wanting to show you Pisces is like, they're actually like this on the table. I just see her looking away from this one because she wants that. And this one looks like kind of anxious about it. Yeah. And I feel like it's not a good match. And that that's why the world is here. It, could, it doesn't have to be your partner. It could be a boss. It's like you have this wand. You have this willpower, this body, this... You're great, right? But you're just seeing... Like the queen is structural power. She represents the norms, the queen of pentacles. And then the wand, the page of wands is, is outside of that somehow. You know, as the way a gay person is, but anybody outside of the norms, a marginalized, underrepresented person, is is what that page of wands is for me. Um, okay, let's keep going. All right, releasing this Five of Pentacles feeling. It's a bad feeling. You want to release it? Okay, there's your hierophant. This one wants to talk to you. I see the steps going up through the portal. This is a mentor directing you up the stairs. This is also can represent structural power, but in this deck, it's like this really cool, happy, beautiful soul who's, um, you know, you want what they have. So you want to go up those stairs. You want to go through that portal, Pisces. And it reminding me of like, you want to get in the dog shelter, right? There's, there's a place in a five of pentacles. There's usually like a door or a place that you're outside of in the traditional deck. It's like a church. Um, so you want in there and you feel left out and excluded, but you're welcome in there. There's a key to the door in fact, and, and it's just your idea in your head that you're outside. So come on in. That's what the Hierophant says to me. What else? Ooh, the High Priestess. Powerful, intuitive connection. This is really magical. Ooh, the Empress. Damn. Okay, Pisces. Talk about... Okay, I knew this one was going to come in. So there's a King of Pentacles on the bottom. I don't always look at the bottom as I'm clarifying, but this is the partner of the Queen of Pentacles. Here he is with his dog. He's not, um, I don't know, he's, he's coming in as you. I feel like you're not this queen. You might be, though. You can always reverse energies as they apply. Okay, so what's going on here with this release? Um, it's really clear that the devil, this the devil card here, is telling you you're a piece of shit, but you're actually really amazing. Um, the Hierophant knows that. You intuitively know that, High Priestess. You are the Empress, Pisces. And she is totally fine, all on, all on her own. She is abundant, creative. She can make the world any way she wants it to be. You see that? This makes me think of your watery nature, Pisces. Um... You're the empress. There's a hierophant and a high priestess. If if they are not you, you have very, um, yeah. You see these. This you're being drawn upward um, to ascend here. A way out of this feeling. So release this feeling. You're being guided. You may intuitively know this, or this is somebody else in your life that you see this way as this high priestess. She, she, she and the hierophant are actually counterparts in the traditional tarot. The hierophant represents structural um, 
divine church kind of stuff. And the high priestess represents the, the divine connection that is outside of the structures. So maybe that's the difference is that you're trying to get into a, a place of structural power like a church. Um, but you can actually achieve this outside of that. I see both of them as um, people that support you and guide you. The Hierophant is often a mentor. Um, you're clearly this. You're clearly amazing, Pisces. You just need to know that. You need to know that. The devil tells you otherwise. So that's why this is a real new beginning here. This is very Empress energy. Earthy, pentacle materials in this deck. Let's keep going. What to embrace? Embrace. Embrace. That's weird. Embrace. What to embrace? I feel like Ted Lasso because I'm like saying a word and it doesn't make any sense anymore. <laughs> okay. Three of Pentacles. Building something real with others. A collaboration. Everybody knows it has a skill, a vision. You bring it together, you make it real. That's the Ace of Materials feel. It's overall energy of this reading. So you have an idea of this. I feel like you're envisioning this. This is, Embrace your vision. Okay. Secondly, there's your Seven of Wands. You see this twice. Now, this is really important. You hold your ground. You be in your bubble. There's a lot of pressure from somewhere on the outside. You're resisting it. This is the same card. Seven of Wands. Both decks. Be like this. Even though you're collaborating with others, you have good boundaries. You know who you are. Your solar plexus is lit up. This is your seat of power within that um, yoga kind of. She's sitting there in a meditative state. And yeah, so if you're working on boundaries, that's really good. That's what this is telling me. And... Yay! A four of wands. This is what you want to embrace. This is the people that you get to be yourself with, who get you, who let you just, you just, it's a really fun time. It is a soulmate connection. Um, so there's something here about a vision that you have for collaboration. Um, it's a place where you get to be you. And you're the empress, so yes, be you, Pisces. Um, embrace this vision and have good boundaries because there may be outside influences that want to distract you from this and take you elsewhere. So you have to hold fast. You have to have the Seven of Wands resistance to people that want to take you off track. Um, you're mutable, Pisces, meaning that you... That not only does the mutable sign bring us from one season to the next, but you tend to have a changing nature. Um, you're comfortable with change. You help the rest of us with it. I thank you. I'm a fixed sign. Um, although I don't totally identify with not wanting to change. But so we see you in these two kinds of very, like, very practical, hardworking, earthy energy and this fiery wands create fun. So you're both practical and fun. These are your two, the two pieces of your nature. Um, and within both realms, you want to have good boundaries uh, because you have a vision and this is what you need to be grounded in. This is what shines out from your solar plexus here is knowing who you are, what your dreams are, and what you need to do to go about achieving those and making those real. Okay, well, that was a clear message. <laughs> You're revisiting this resistance. Let's look at that. What are you resisting, my friend? Let's see. Let's see here. Pisces, the wheel. Change in your favor. The wheel, this is divine change. Okay, so something changed. You're changing. Hermiting. Going alone to look to your inner light, 
very spiritual. It's Virgo energy if you have Virgo in your chart. So your Pisces sun, you might have like a Virgo moon um, or somewhere in your chart, Virgo. Um, but I like, but the meaning of the hermit it doesn't have to be Virgo. It could be a Virgo in your life. Um, that's not what I'm getting. What I'm getting is you going alone, the hermit goes alone, in order to discover this spiritual um, insight. There's so much here, now that I look at it, with the Hierophant, the High Priestess, this Seven of Wands and the Pink Bubble, and now the hermit, about you looking inward to know what truth you know. And the hermit often looks to the past, although this one is facing on the table towards the future. Um, but the hermit traditionally would look backwards where you reflect on your history um, in order to come to some understanding here. Um, one more. Ooh, the lovers. This is the scariest, beautifulest soul co connection you could be offered. Um, this is related to the Four of Wands here. Look, Empress, you're the Empress. <laughs> There's a soulmate thing here. It's strong, it's very strong. Lovers like the Seven, remember you get the Seven of Cups as your embrace. They both are cards of choice. The reason the Lovers card is a choice is because when you meet the person who gets you like this, this is the person, people that get you. It can be your community, but it's often like your companion for life this person it's gonna be hard scary it's like mind body heart soul all levels you connect your simpatico and the weird thing is it's a card of choice because so many are afraid to choose this the devil would say you're not good enough for this don't listen to the devil you pisces are the empress okay so uh -huh. So the wheel, there's change. You're resisting change. You recently decided to resist a change. You're doing inner work. You're resisting the lovers. I feel like you're, revi you're revisiting this, like you had this or have this. You think maybe you've met that person that that is you know on all levels and um you're kind of torn between just hermiting and going it alone or choosing that person there's some way that you're supposed to change and i don't know like so think of think about who you are do you usually pick the relationship or do you usually pick the spiritual inner solitary journey um and then you want to look at that. Why do you resist one and choose the other? Um, something is changing in your pattern here. Um, hmm. Okay, something about boundaries, Pisces. Okay, so what the hero wants you to know, this work, this new skill, this passion. It's pentacles, it's practical. It's not like wands, desire, passion. This is like, this is, if you make things, if you're an artist, it's that. Tara wants you to know something about that. It could also be like, remember we talked about like the devil, if you're dealing with like addiction, it would be like the work you do to address your addiction, um, your doubt could be like therapy. Um, but let's find out. Let's find out more. It should relate to the rest of this. So the world, something ended. You finished something. It was like a major cycle of your life. You finished it. There was the three of cups. They're friends, community, your heart people. Friendship ended, potentially. Doesn't make sense yet. 
temperance. Wow. Yeah, if you have any doubt this is about addiction, temperance is sort of the antidote, the healing. It's a card of healing. It's a card of divine support, but it's also a card of waiting. I see you making things with others, right? The three of pentacles. So this is your eight of pentacles. This is your art. That you do, do do that collaboratively, your skill. It could be a new skill or an old one. It looks to me like in doing this work, you're both you're having to be patient. It's taking time. Actually, I see this world card not as like something that finished, but it is something that needs to be completed before you can have this. This is what you want. You want these connections, these friendships. So to have that, you have to complete this. It takes work. It takes temperance, balancing, alchemizing, You're divinely supported in this work. What else comes in here? What does this have to do with? So in the recent past, you were resistant to this change from a pattern of either always going for relationships or always wanting to be alone. Um, it looks clear, it's clear to me that the time of being alone is over. You're, there's three of pentacles, three of cups, four of wands, the lovers. Like, you're going to be with other people. But in order to have that, I see you needing to do this work and finish this work. And it's going to take patience. And you just need to trust that in time, you will have what you want. And you'll have what you want because you're amazing, right? <laughs> And you have good help. You have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. It's either your inner guidance or somebody else. You have a mentor, the Hierophant. Um, but you've been, this is how you've been feeling. Tired, outside, abandoned. And you're coming into community, collaboration, making things in the real world with the people that truly get you soul connection it's really awesome it seems i i highly doubt you're going to end up hermiting it just looks like it's going to take time okay so coming in in the future very quick energy fast knight of wands passionate can be a player i i just think um I'm just not going to predict for you, Pisces, that some kind of player is coming into your life. It looks like you taking the wand, willpower, and going, running with it, full of fire, passion, certainty, the real leadership qualities um, going forward. But let's look. Let's clarify. The Fool, a new beginning. This comes after the world card. It's the beginning, the leap of faith. Jumping through that portal makes me think of the portal that this Hierophant is guiding you towards. And it's going to just feel like jumping off a cliff. When you're in the state of the fool, though, you're not afraid. Everybody else is like, well, you're jumping off a cliff. But the fool is like um, leaping, leaping out. Ten of swords, something ends. Uh, so... Very painful, but this card is speaking of the next day when you wake up, the sun is rising, it's the beginning of a new journey. But yeah, there's an ending foretold here a couple of ways with the world and the Ten of Swords. It's not, it hurts, okay? When you take this leap of the fool, you know, here, this, the fool leaps into, and it's going to hurt. But you're you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it like this. Whatever you have to give up to begin this new journey, you will. And look, there you are. There's some kind of true love in your story, Pisces. There you are in your Ten of Cups. That is.
family, emotional partnership. It's this. It's, it's like, this is a love reading, Pisces, and I, you know, I don't tend to look for love readings, but you have it. You have true love here on the table in many ways. Um, and it's a part of your vision, I think, for you. Um, but in order to get there, you're going to have to leap through this Ten of Swords, a painful ending. Um, yeah, so because we got that Ten of Cups under this Knight of Wands. If, you, if there is another person that is this Knight of Wands, I read it as you. If it's somebody else on the outside, it's a little scary to leap into that. Like somebody else might be like, that person's a player. Don't go for that. They're going to, because there's a lot of outside perspectives, Pisces, that you have to, you're resisting. Is that seven of wands, right? The pink bubble, too. Right. So this knight of wands is coming in if it's another person and not you. Like other people are going to say, that looks dangerous. Look at you. You're leaping off into this. It looks like you do it knowing it'll hurt you or somebody else. This is where you get, you get. Um, so, interesting. Pisces. Um, it's funny, my dad's a Pisces, so I do try to avoid doing love readings for Pisces, but that undeniable love here. Um, <laughs> yeah. And just two cup cards. Um, this is you doing your work. Putting in the in the real work, watching it grow, watching yourself grow here, and the truth, carrying the truth, Knight of Swords, a messenger of truth. So underlying, it's your two, it's your dual energy, this patient, earthy quality. And this impatient, impatient um, rush. I, f I see this intention in you in, in multiple ways. Like your mutability comes through quite a bit. Um, your salt, your like this. This is like <laughs> I like to be alone, but I want a partner for life. Um, and you can have both. You can have good alone time. Virgos are very. I had had many Virgo partners and they um, they're so warm and then they need some alone time <laughs> and that's your reading Pisces um, yeah it looks like you're working on this this voice in your head that says you are not enough for your addiction you're working on becoming aware that you are the Empress who's like the most amazing card in the tarot. Um, you've got, and you might be her as well. Like, are you a little psychic, Pisces? Or is there somebody who is like a spiritual guide that helps you? And clearly you also have the Hierophant, a mentor to support you, to get out of a state that's miserable. Um, so yeah. Embrace your visions, your dreams, your fantasies. I think you've been, um, you have these fantasies and the, these cards say, go for it. And if anybody tells you, you can't have it, um, they're leaving your life here. So listen to the people that believe in you because you're the empress and yeah. And I take no responsibility for this. It's just what the cards say. And tell me what you think. I always want to know that. All right. Have a great day.